doing is asking you to back up. Okay. You don't need to intervene while we're trying to talk to him. We're trying to get the but side But I of the do story. have rights. That is a public sidewalk. All right. Okay. Move on. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We have another sovereign citizen video, but it's not who you think it is. It's the actual cops. This lawless bunch thinks that the laws don't apply to them, just like many other cops in the United States and around the world, as a matter of fact. You know, since we started our channel, we've discovered some patterns. And in one of those patterns that we discovered, we realized that cops really don't know the oath that they swear to. And I'll challenge you guys to look for a video online where a cop's getting sworn in where he actually knows his oath. You won't find it, folks. I've looked. Now, here's the issue with this video. The cops are telling this guy to leave, but he's on a public sidewalk. For some reason, cops think that just because they get a call, they can violate your rights. This man is recording. He walks up closer to where the cops are, and immediately they start pushing him back. They even threaten to arrest him, and you're not going to believe the way this cop acts towards the end. Let's go ahead and watch this video, folks. We'll be pausing for some comments, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. All I did was walked up on a public sidewalk with my wings. I wasn't going to eat in front of the bar. Right, go down there and let's talk to him. We'll come down and talk to okay. him. Okay. Excuse me? I asked you to go down there. We'll talk to you when we're done. I'm out of... Go down I'm, there away from us now. I've asked you. All right, folks, I forgot to remind you to go subscribe to this guy's channel. I'll be putting his original channel link in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get right back to it. I'm so going. I'm going to ask you to back up. Okay. You don't need to intervene while we're trying to talk to him. We're trying to get the but side I of the But I do story. have rights. But we're trying to investigate something that we got called on. Okay, but I didn't so call So if I ask you to step, I don't care if you called us. But then I'm if over you didn't 10 call, feet. If you didn't call, then you need to step away then. He's lying. I don't care. I'm not trying. Everybody lies, dude. I'm on the public sidewalk. Okay, but I you're causing gonna... problems. How? Are you, are you not causing problems? Could you no, just say, okay, he, walk down here and eat? Yeah. Instead he, of laughing and yelling and screaming? He was the one who went off. Could you have just walked away then? He was the one who went off. Okay, but you, ate, you got dominoes. You could have ate it down here on your bike, right? It's a public sidewalk. I'm a tax-paying citizen. It's not a public sidewalk. This is this building sidewalk. It's no, not it is. A, it, it's, it's, it's not public property. It it's is private a, property. No, it's not. I've already been through this. This is not private property? No, this is... This is, this is a sidewalk. Not a public sidewalk. This is a sidewalk. It's not a city street sidewalk. It no, is. It is okay. No. I've already done this, this with property. Greensburg. This is not private property. I can go to the land surveying company and okay. and 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 get all everything I need to know. This is not private property. This. Down, okay, that's fine. I'll call Ian, but this is a public sidewalk. And I was on a public it's sidewalk. A public okay, property. no, it's not. This no, it's not. So the no, city it's... owns this. The city or the owns it. Owns it? No, it's oh. a public sidewalk. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. End of the story, dude. They don't want you in there. You're not going to be on. That's fine. Anymore. It's a you public fucking sidewalk. You need to leave for the night, or I will off. leave. But it's a public sidewalk, and I will go get the land surveying company to in it's investigate. Not a pissing match tonight. We're not the best I'm not tonight. trying to piss off nobody. So this is a public you sidewalk. Need to leave for the night. I'm going to, but I'm not leaving in front of y'all. That is a public sidewalk. Right. Okay? Move on. What's your uh, name and badge Austin number? Cannon, What's your name and badge seven. number? Right, What's your name and badge number? You're standing on a public sidewalk. It is a public it's sidewalk. No, it's not. No, it's not. not I've already went you through this with police. Greensburg police. I'm leaving. Okay. But I'm going to What police department do you work Lawrenceburg, with? Just like you're Lawrenceburg? In Lawrenceburg right now. Okay. I'm going to call your I'm going to call your chief. Please do. I'm going to go. Glad to hear from you. Okay, Please good. Snyder. Good. Chief what? Chief Snyder. I've already had an interaction with him once okay, well, because of that you. asshole. Well, he don't even work for us. He works for Aurora. You're right. I know who he is. So it sounds like you got problems with everybody. You're no, 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 no. That's a public sidewalk. Right. They don't know. None of on. these shops own that. Okay. That's a public sidewalk. All right, move on. Fuck you. You move on. Dude, you're about to go to jail. For what? Being on a public I've sidewalk? I've had enough of you. Being on a public sidewalk? Move on. Being on a public sidewalk? 
Get your chief there. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Say one more word and you're gonna you're gonna go to jail is where you're gonna go. I'm for going disorderly conduct. I'm going Tell that home. in public and talks. Because I, I know damn well you're intoxicated, that's why you're not getting on your bike, right? Uh, right? <laughs> Keep walking. For what? Standing on the pub? Uh, it's not fucking public! We told you to get the fuck away! Do you see how these cops treated this man? He did absolutely nothing wrong. He wasn't doing anything illegal. This guy just wanted to get some food. They called the cops on him. I want to thank this guy for this video, and I also want to thank him for giving me a shout out. I'm going to go ahead and play that for you here. Hey y'all. So an incident happened to me a little over a month ago. I've got everything on video. After watching a couple of videos from San Joaquin Valley Transparency, it gave me a little bit more motivation to follow this through. I'm making this video now because I called to uh, speak to the chief of police for Lawrenceburg, Indiana. They won't allow me to speak to the chief. I told them uh, I need to speak to the chief and he's a public representative representing the state of Indiana. And they kept wanting to know and wanting to know and wanting to know. And I said, uh, well, it's not really any of your business. Why? The business is between me and the chief. So I asked the lady that works there at 10.50 a.m. today. Her name's Amy. Is it policy to do business like this for y'all? She said, well, that's what they tell me. I said, oh, okay. Well, let me speak to his voicemail. Well, it doesn't work like that. That's what I was told by Amy. They told me I have to do it in this manner. I said, well, is it policy or is it state law? She said, it's our policy. I said, okay, well, your policy doesn't supersede state law. She said, why is it so hard for you to just give me your name and number and a brief description? I said, well, why is it so hard for you to put me through to Chief Snyder's voicemail? She asked me that same question again. Well, you're being difficult. You're you're not just telling me your name and number. And I said, no, I'm not being difficult. I'm exercising my rights. I said, he's a state representative. I'm a public tax or I'm a tax paying citizen. Well, I can give you to a sergeant. Well, a sergeant's not going to do. I want to speak to the chief or the assistant chief. Well, he's busy right now. Oh, is he taking a dump? No, he's just busy. I said, well, is he in a meeting? No, he's just busy. Okay, so if he's not in a meeting and he's not taking a dump, then you should have an open book to speak with taxpaying citizens. You know, I just don't understand why people don't fucking get that. So I told him I was going to call the courthouse. And I called the courthouse, and lo and behold, they're in the same fucking situation. You can't speak to nobody directly. Even though their lunch break isn't until 12.30, it's uh, 10.54 when I called the courthouse. And you got to leave a message with them. So you can't speak to nobody directly through the courts can't speak to nobody directly in the fucking police station. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand why our public officials are never, never available to the taxpayers. Me and all of y'all watching. If they're not in a meeting and they're not taking a shit, then what's the problem? I mean, you get paid by our taxes. We pay taxes for this. We pay taxes for to be able to have access to public officials and representatives. Not to go to always, always go to voicemail. It seems like that's all it ever is anymore. You can never speak to nobody directly. They got like shields set up into place. You got the frontline person, which is Amy. Then you got the sergeant. Then you got the lieutenant. And then you got to speak to all these other people and it's unnecessary bullshit. It's a shield of protection. And in my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and say this. It's a shield of protection for um, accountability. That's all it is. So I guess, you know, since I, w I won't, won't, won't be able to file a uh, civil rights violation with an attorney. I mean, shit, I just spent three grand on my fucking transmission for my truck. I got to spend another whatever grand it is on that. So I don't have the money for an attorney, so I guess I'm just going to have to go pro se and file a civil rights violation myself. I'll fucking get it done.
because I'm not rolling over and playing dead. I've got too many videos. Tired of fucking just letting it go like everybody tells me to. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. I got five other videos of my rights getting violated by different police and different departments. And outside that, I really don't have nothing else to say. This is exactly what happens when cops are thrown out on the streets without really knowing the oath that they swear to. This is a massive problem that is an easy fix. We've already discovered the patterns. We've already offered the solution on our channel. And because cops are not properly trained in the academies and their supervisors have failed them tremendously, in my opinion, the academies are putting cops in danger by allowing them to patrol the streets and babysit America without even knowing what the people's rights are. And because of that, we're going to teach it to you guys right here. That way, if you see a cop, you could teach a cop. The First Amendment. Yeah, the freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition your government for redress of grievances. When cops don't know that, they violate people's rights. And when they violate people's rights, the people file lawsuits. Sometimes they win. And when those lawsuits get settled, they come out of the taxpayers' pockets. Something needs to change, folks. This is not a sustainable system for the people. It sure is a sustainable system for the system, the government, right? Because it's job security for everybody involved. The cops, the prosecutors, the district attorneys, the judges, even the clerks. That's the real pyramid scheme of America, folks. Know your rights and always, always record the police. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel. Say hello. I will see you guys in his comment section. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have yourselves a blessed day. Peace.